The Bible said that when people, when men sleep, the enemy sow into their life. The enemy sow while they are sleeping. So while they are sleeping, men that sleep all time, men that sleep all time, are men, the enemy have advantage over them. And I believe that the Lord is about to shift you into another realm where you will take advantage of the enemy. The enemy will not rejoice over you in the name of Jesus. You must know something that the enemy don't know about you. You must recognize that and that can only come through the word of the Lord. And here is a message prepared by God to shift you into that dimension. As you sit by to listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Shepherd. You are walking accurately with God is you must find a parallel in the Bible of the way you are following. There has to be a figure in the Bible that parallels what the Spirit is doing in your life. If you have not found it yet, either keep searching or repent from the way you are following. But if it is God you are learning, somewhere in your christian experience please listen to what i'm telling you if god is raising you to be a prophet you will find a similarity of your dealing with one of there has to be a parallel jesus opened the book and he found where it was written concerning him it is written concerning everybody it is not written in plain language it is written in codes it will take the spirit to open your eyes to say so this nehemiah i've been reading is actually my destiny it is not just a cup bearer of a king from a historic and a doctrinal standpoint you are dealing with the cup bearer of the king but when the prophetic layer of scripture is open you will see that that man you call nehemiah is actually somebody in taraba that god is raising there must be a scriptural expression of your destiny hmm. do you believe what i'm teaching you so my dear lady you may not know why god is isolating you you may not be the firstborn but it's like god is training you as both a man and a woman and you are saying lord the harshness of this training one day in the place of prayer deborah will stand out for you and you will now see that that deborah you have been reading is actually the roadmap you have been following because there is a kind of warrior he's training you to become I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, I know the lamb, I believe in the lion, I believe in the lamb, and I'll follow the lion. I follow the lamb every time in ancient times when a child of destiny was born the kings who asked their wise men to go and check the archives find it if it is somebody who is a person of promise there must be something prophetic about that person go and find it and they will say truly we have found it when Jesus was born remember what happened he said no go and search and they came they say it's true it's true oh king it is true by prophecy someone is born he said oh really okay let me know where he is so that i will also come and worship him the king was threatened because no two kings live there but prophecy called that man a king not a baby and even as a baby he would not even allow him grow let's kill him early because that destiny so provided it is written it was come to pass the knowledge of god's character the knowledge of god's ways is called the mysteries of the kingdom listen respectfully speaking if you're a man of god here the strength of your efficiency in ministry as far as the ministry of the word to people is concerned to improve their life depends on your vast understanding of the ways of god so if somebody comes to meet you now and says man of god things are not going well i have lost my job i have lost immediately from the files in your spirit 
you now go to like a library how does restoration happen in the kingdom you know how you use an encyclopedia electronically while the person is talking you already know with the precision of a doctor this man is in need of restoration but not any kind of restoration there is a pathway and then the person comes to say god is leading me i have things have not been working in my life and yet god gave me a strange instruction that i should carry a serious seed and come and sow could that be god you can vet it knowing the ways of god and say you are very accurate in the midst of your pain he's calling you to sow it is god it is consistent with how he behaves there is a way there is something he's bringing he's programming in your life and he said i saw you in a vision and god said i should come and drop this pastor i'm just a young believer with accuracy you can let him know that as painful as this is there is a scripture that is written that he that weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return rejoicing so that activity is consistent with that which is written even though it is painful you can tell him have no fear you are walking in the ways of God without the knowledge of the ways of God it is impossible to help people you will only help people emotionally so someone comes to say I'm having all kinds of dreams and there are attacks in my life and the only thing the man of God let, well let's pray Lord help this man me too I don't know what to tell him it's just that I happen to be his pastor Lord help him no but you should be able to know when you know the ways of God and the person comes to you like joseph coming to his father and says pastor i had a dream innocently i saw the sun the moon and 11 stars bowing you begin to rejoice and say ah so this is joseph now let me prepare you my dear son there is a pit coming my dear son there is potiphar's wife coming build stamina in the midst of the storm go and start praying three hours why am i the one praying three hours so that when you are in that pit if it is joseph i saw there must be a pit there must be potiphar's wife so my assignment is to prepare you dear joseph so you don't die of offense when you are in the pit and so that you are not weak spiritually under the influence of potiphar's wife i prepare you to have the stamina to remain in the prison until the king sends for you this is how we help men so when members come to us we are seeing different characters in the bible an innocent girl comes to you as a man of god you are not just seeing a lady from somewhere in mubi or in taraba you are seeing esther coming from her dreams and her description you know that this is esther you know how to create a mentorship program that is allocated for her growth this is how we make men mighty mighty in stature you don't administer the same training to everybody no elijah cannot mentor ruth no if elijah mentors ruth she will not become ruth she will never meet boaz if elijah mentors ruth she will become elijah so as a man of god when ruth comes you have to switch to become naomi if it is ruth you want to produce only naomi can produce ruth only elijah can produce elisha only moses can produce joshua the problem is elijah is mentoring everybody so someone comes with the destiny of a roof and becomes elisha and does not find fulfillment being elisha and says no something in my spirit is saying i'm following a wrong path now you understand what paul means by i become all things to all men i can switch dimensions based on my perception on what god has called you to be so there is a gentleman when you see him with the destiny of elisha and elijah you can lock him up and he said i don't know why god is asking me to fast for three months i fasted january three months and you look at him you say i know that your training is hard but i know what you are becoming go ahead and do it hmm. another person will come and you say listen 
go and get those books because you are daniel it is your intelligence that will be needed in babylon go and settle down make sure you go for the masters go for phd because although you are a prophet it will be concealed in knowledge it is governmental power that will elevate you in babylon you see we continue to make mistakes in mentoring believers because we have not known that the names in the bible represent spiritual dimensions the bible is not made of elijah alone abraham plus sarah plus gideon plus deborah plus peter plus paul are we together plus andrew plus all these people equal the characters in scripture and we have been given the unique mandate by men of god to bring and raise these diverse people you must know the ways of god enough to be able to help men so someone can come and meet you and say i don't know why the lord is i i keep feeling that i should go and walk in the national assembly and you look at the person and say give me a moment let me look at you not from the lens of a preacher let me wear the google of one who i need to trace the path you are following from scripture spirit of the living god what is the destiny of this young lady and he said that is esther in the making and he said ah go Go. it is a pathway that will lead you to find a hazardous you are following the right path are we together now yeah hmm. please sit down let me wrap up has god helped someone this morning please hear me taraba your destiny is locked up here your assignment in this conference please hear me many of you by this teaching you need to go back and let the scroll be unlocked find out where you are here and find out whether you have been trying to be Ruth when you are Esther mm, no find out whether you have been trying to be David whereas you are Gideon Moses don't ask me why they were attacked from your childhood that is how the destiny of Moses is what is it with sickness and people hating me as a little child do you not read about Moses was Moses spared even as a baby all deliverers are attacked even from their birth do you not read about Jesus the Savior the deliverer so when you tell me from age two sickness wanted to kill me as a young person everybody kept hating me uh-huh um, you are describing a picture by your pain and I can trace your destiny from scripture now it makes sense to rejoice in the midst of your pain count it all joy because in the midst of that pain it is leading you through a roadmap you can now laugh in the midst of storms i don't know why all my siblings hate me i don't know why i'm the last born yet everybody comes to meet me for advice it's more than just being a nice person prophecy is calling you and saying are you not seeing destiny is waiting for you and saying if you know the ways of god you will know how to navigate your own path in destiny and know how to help people if you are david make sure you are not only a musician you must learn the art of war because you will fight many battles in your life if you are david train your eyes early so that you don't make the mistake of david in the bible train your eyes and discipline yourself spiritually because one day you will look at Bathsheba make sure when it is time for war go for war don't be in your house there is an implication if you stay in your house during the time of war you are going to see Bathsheba if you are Samson protect the covenant that guards the spirit of might in your life if you are Samson Delilah will come she will not come as a woman but she will come samson your covenant is in your hair so when you see other people careless with their hair that is because they are not samson but because you are samson you have to protect your hair you will find out that god's business with you centers around your hair not your hand because your hand does not look like it Delilah will ask you how come you are not macho yet you are strong 
you must learn how to keep silent and only speak when it is necessary that is the training of samson if you are a noisy samson you will die before the time of your manifestation it was the inability to keep quiet as a samson that plucked his eyes his hair let me give you the last one the person you should thank is your 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 lord bishop for hearing god enough to put as simple as this is many of you is when you are lying down quietly this message will be on replay in your spirit again you will now say ah so this is my life i see hmm this is why he came to me so i am gideon i am gideon the least in my father's house and my father's house the least in the clan i have always been angry why are we the poorest the smallest now i see from knowing the ways of god that that is a gideon in training you now go to scripture and start subscribing to the training that transforms you to become a mighty man of valor david I know you are destined for the palace but make sure you do not run away from the wilderness if you run away from the wilderness Goliath will kill you your training is in the wilderness so when you are alone rejoice because that is where you will learn how to kill the lion with nobody clapping for you you will learn how to kill the bear with nobody clapping for you but one day as small as you are you will be taking food to your loved ones and you will meet a beast that is roaring when you hear that roar for many people it is oppression but for you it is a sign that a season has changed ah, i sense an anointing just resting on three people i just saw that light three people that grace in the name of jesus christ may that grace rest upon you that there is an impartation a quickening in your spirit man as you are hearing this now the lord is opening scripture and he's showing you showing you your destiny through the prophetic blueprint of scripture you don't have to bring them out yet just pray in one minute before we wrap up one minute while you are seated someone is finding the road map into his prophetic destiny <laughs> ah, this is eternal life this is eternal life ah, it's time for you now you see it's connecting to your dreams your destiny is making sense now preacher now you know that the journey you have been taking in ministry as painful as it is there is a character in scripture you are becoming do not abort your training do not abort your training 10 members even after two years don't be discouraged it's not that you are not anointing you are, you are not anointed there is a certain character you are becoming Pray in one minute and then I'll give you the no shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't keep down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Hmm. Alice, Abaratos here. Esther, remain faithful in the training of Esther. Deborah, remain faithful in the training of Deborah. Ruth, remain faithful in the training of Ruth. David, you are going to be a mighty king. Don't expect your training to be like that of a mediocre. We are talking about David. Elijah, you will become a mighty prophet that will judge the works of Baal 
so obtain grace and stamina in the midst of the pain thou son of Tishbite Elijah the Tishbite endure endure the fasting endure the hours of training endure the discipline and the consecrations you are Elijah Esther begin to learn the language of royalty you will need Ahasuerus permission and cooperation learn how to make Ahasuerus happy understand the dynamics of favor the Jews are depending on your wisdom your carelessness can empower Haman to destroy God's people in Jesus name we pray please sit down let me give you the last one and then we'll wrap up I hope I've not lost you this morning please let me challenge you go online listen to this message again this message is a retreat manual this is not something just to hear in a conference when this conference is over go online and get it this is eternal life I'm showing you the dynamics the administration of stepping into the experience of that life you want to be invincible your life being a sign and a wonder it begins by making that prayer that decision but it does not stop there there is a network of pathways you must follow for the rich capture of eternal life to be made manifest that they may know thee the one true God and Jesus whom thou hast sent apostle I want to speak and to see the power of God move in a meeting is more than an impartation uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. that handkerchiefs and aprons are taken from your body no you can choose to be a herbalist but if it's genuine anointing from heaven from God there is a pathway that evolves a man into that possibility can I give you the last now and if you have not subscribed endeavor to subscribe and that will help us to do more god bless you as we continue to pray together